Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do a video talking about all the book series that I need to finish or catch up on in the next few months. For me, I'm really good at starting series but really bad at finishing them. If Depending on how long you guys have been following my channel, you would know, for example, I read the first book in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan in February and then waited like five months to read the second through fifth books. So I'm good at starting them but then really bad at finishing them. So that has always been my situation for as long as I can remember. So in the new year and most of these series I'm going to talk about today are ones I want to either finish before the end of the year or start in, or finish next year I should say. My resolution in the new year is to finish as many series as I possibly can before starting any new ones. So hopefully that will stay true. So I'm going to jump right in and talk about the nine series that I want to finish. So the first book I need to talk about today is the Mortal Instrument series by Cassandra Clare. Anybody who's been following my channel since like July would know I have had a very love-hate relationship with this series. I loved the first three books and then I've hated the past two. After reading City of Lost Souls, which was book five, I needed a break from the series. I took two and a half months off at this point to move from away from the Shadowhunter Chronicles because I just, like I said, I needed a break. That world, and there will be a full review video coming out when I finish or catch up on all of the books. I just, I didn't like the Moral Interference series. I need to finish the sixth book to study of Heavenly Fire because I've heard this is the best book in the series. I'm hoping that's the case. Please help me God that this will be a good one and I won't have to roll my eyes every time I think about reading a Shadowhunter Chronicles book. The next one I have to talk about is one I just need to catch up on and that is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. I love Throne of Glass. I read the first five books last year in like the span of two weeks and I adore those books. I have a full series review up here on the channel so I will link it down below. And the sixth book which was Tower of Dawn just released back in September. So I need to read that before the end of the year. I'm actually currently rereading the series. I have already reread this first book, Throne of Glass. I am hopefully going to move on to Crown of Midnight soon. So that's another series I need to finish. Or catch up on, I should say. The next book I am, or next book series, I should say, I'm very iffy on. And is isn't so much the content of the book, because I really did enjoy the first book. It's the length of the series as well as the length of the books. And that is the Outlander series by Diana Gabaldon. I read this first book, Outlander, back in January, and I loved it. I thought it was a great book. I do have a full review of it on my channel, so I'll link that down below as well. The only thing is, it's been almost a year. It took me two months to read this entire 850-page book. And this series is also eight books long. So that is kind of what's holding me back from continuing on at this point. I've heard some mixed things about the next few books in the series. So if you guys have read the majority of the Outlander series and loved it, let me know in the comments down below what you thought. And I'll definitely consider it in the running for the next series that I finish. The next one, I already definitely know I'm going to pick up the second book in this trilogy next month, and that is The Hunger Games Trilogy by Suzanne Collins. I read The Hunger Games for the first time in September, or August or September, I believe it was September. I love this. It was a four-star read for me. And yeah, I am very late to the boat because this was the first time I ever read this series, um, but I know it's going to be good, so I'll be picking up Catching Fire sometime in the next month or so. The next one I have to talk about is another one I'm very iffy about because this is a series that you either love or hate and that is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I do own the second book. It's on my TBR shelf, but I didn't necessarily like this first book. It was only a three star read for me. So I'm kind of torn. Again, if you guys are fans of any of the series that I'm very iffy on, let me know in the comments down below and I will again consider continuing on. This is just one that I probably will pick up the second book at least, but at this point, who knows? So I don't know about that one either. The next one I have to talk about is Children of Eden by Joy Graceffa. This is the first book and I believe it's going to be a trilogy, but I could be wrong. I read this first book back in April and I loved it. It's a YA dystopian series. I love anything dystopian. 
So I'm like, I need to get the second book and it came out in October. So cross my fingers, I'll get that soon. <laughs> the next one I have to talk about is another one I'm very iffy on and this was gratefully given to me in a giveaway from my good friend Lisa over Books and Smiles. So thank you so much Lisa for sending me these books again. That is the Three Sisters Island Trilogy by Nora Roberts. I own all three books. I read this first book back in June and I liked it. It was a 3.5 star read for me. It was very slow burning but I did end up enjoying it and I don't know if I want to continue on with the trilogy just, just because of how slow building this first book was but again it's in the running and this is another one I most likely will continue on with because the books are very very short so again let me know in the comments down below what you think about this series. And the last two series again are the most or these are actually the ones I'm iffy on the most and these are the first one being Loki's Wolves by Kale Armstrong and M.A. Marr. This is the first book in a trilogy called The Black Fold Pages so there's only two books left but this first book it was just okay. It's a middle grade fantasy novel that follows a boy named Matt who finds out he is a descendant of Thor. So it's very similar to Percy Jackson and it was good. Another slow building one and I just don't know. Again, it was just a 3.5 star read for me, so I don't know about this one. And the last series I have to talk about was Ursi, A Wizard of Ursi by Ursula K. Lagoon. This is another middle grade fantasy novel that follows a young boy who finds out he's a sorcerer and so on and so forth. It is very similar to Harry Potter, and I found this book very interesting. It was another very slow building plot book, so that's one reason why I don't necessarily want to continue on at this point in time. Also, it is a, the first book in a six book series. And I'm in college, I really don't have the time to sit down and read a six book series in one sitting because these are very, very short books. So if I was to continue on, it would probably be in like the summertime during book two of on or something. Again, if you guys are a fan of the series, let me know and I will consider it. So that is all I'm going to have for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have any videos mentioned in this video linked down below as well as all my social media links. So those include my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and blog. Again those are all linked down below and with all that being said I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye!